welcome to Aiken Out with Molly Mo. I'm Melissa. I am so excited for today's video. Today we're opening the Witch's Moon box for October 2022. And the theme is the Shadow of Stalin. Keep watching. Alrighty guys, I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am for this box. It's going to be my very first year celebrating Samhain. Now Samhain is spelled S-A-M-H-A-I-N. So if you were to read it just like that, it reads Samhain, but it's pronounced Samhain, which is celebrated on October 31st. So Halloween. Oh my goodness. Let's get started. I cannot wait to see this. Sneak peek! Oh my goodness. Okay, so as usual, I am going to assume this is our little cheat sheet. So we're going to put this to this side. Sneak peek! <laughs> oh, everything's falling out of the box. What is this? Self-confidence, strong self-belief, and a sense of worth. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like here we have, I guess our little sigil for the month. Looks like this is something we can put in a little book of shadows. It says Spiritus Nuntius. Not quite sure what this is. Something to read uh, on Samhain. So I guess we'll read more about this in the cheat sheet. Ooh, what is this? So looks like this is to put in our little book of shadows or read more. It says Festivals of the Dead. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Huh. And it has a raven or crow. It looks like this talks about Samhain, All Saints Day, which is November the 1st. Um, it talks about All Souls Day, or the Day of the Dead, I guess, on November 2nd. So this is a pretty interesting. Okay, so what else do we have? Ooh. How cool is this? So it talks about the raven and the element is air and earth and the celestial influence would be the sun, Mercury, uh, Saturn, and Pluto. It looks like raven in Latin is corvus, which sounds like cuervo, which is uh, Spanish for raven. That is pretty interesting. It looks like the magical properties of the raven are as follows. Magician, mystic, guardian, messenger, shapeshifter, trickster, and wisdom keeper. The raven wears many guises. Across cultures and time, the raven's call portends a significant shift, a monumental moment, pre-staging the unforeseen. The raven's intellect shines through its ability to adapt to its environment, watching over other predators and abiding the opportunity to scavenge fresh remnants from the work of others. Perhaps most importantly, the raven acts as a vessel of correspondence capable of traversing, traversing? <laughs> the liminal, somewhere in between realms and outside of time, Whilst guarding the secrets of the subtle world, the raven does convey meaningful messages, but only to those who listen. I am quite curious as to what we have in here. I see a little black. <laughs> so let's see what this is first. So it looks like we have some incense cones. Okay, so we have this. It looks like a little black circle made of like foam. Okay. And then these appear to be incense cones. So again, we'll read more about this later. So we're gonna put this to the side. Okay, so what is this? I am very intrigued. Is it a cauldron? but I am going to glue this. It doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. It's actually an incense burner. How cute is this? 
Oh my goodness. It is adorable. I am heartbroken that this is actually broken, but I will glue it. How cute is this? All right, so let's continue with our box. All right, let's get this out of the way, or let's get it out because it's so big. What is this? Oh, oh, it is a crow. Oh my gosh. So this reminds me of Moon Knight a little bit. I actually have con shoot right there from Moon Knight. But how cool is this? Is this like a crow like totem? Okay, this looks super stinking cool. And I can't wait to read about this. Ah, uh, this is so, so cool. Oh, it hangs up. You can hang this like, little thingy here to hang it up. This is so cool, you guys. Okay, again, I cannot wait to read about this. So we're gonna put this here. And we still have a bunch of things in here. So it looks like we have the Magician Ritual Herbal Tea. So we have some uh, tea here. And oh, it looks like we have some herbs. Oh, here we have Meadow Sweet. I'm not quite sure what that is, but here we have it. And it looks like we have more herbs. Marshmallow. Oh, cool. I wanted this. This marshmallow root. How cool is that? So we have that in here. And so it looks like we have some kind of ritual salt. It says the veil key. And we have more in here. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> it looks like a piece of selenite in here. Yeah, this is exactly what that looks like. This looks like a piece of selenite in here. So we're gonna put that to the side. And we have more, ooh. So we have oil, some kind of essential oil, or not essential oil, <laughs> ritual oil. <laughs> okay, it says the raven. Ooh, it sounds like there's some sort of crystal in here. Okay, I cannot wait to smell this. Oh, it smells minty. Oh, it smells very minty. So I'm curious to read about this. And we have a few more things in here. So it looks like we have just a uh, cloth bag. And what else do we have? Okay, it looks like we have this, which I'm assuming is a candle. We have an empty box. So let's go ahead and open, which um, I think it's the candle. It's gonna be a candle, right? So let's go ahead and open the candle. I am thinking the candle is going to be either black or purple. Probably black, right? No, it was purple. I figure it's gonna be either black or purple. This is a beautiful uh, shade of purple. As usual, we have the honeycomb candle and again i love these because you can open the candle right and then you can add essential oils i keep saying essential oils <laughs> and ritual oils and herbs and whatever you want uh to the candle and just really make it your own all right i cannot wait to read the cheat sheet so let's do some reading all right you guys so here we have the cheat sheet okay and as usual they include a piece of parchment paper so you can use in your rituals. Again, this is the Shadow of Samhain box. It says, as the veil begins to thin, we step into the shadows of Samhain to receive wisdom and guidance from our ancestors and spirit guides. During this very special time, we focus on connecting deeply with the spirit world that surrounds us, honoring their unique ability to impact our journey. Within this collection, we work with a very specific messenger to bring to us the information and answers we so eagerly seek. 
This unique and one-of-a-kind collection is the most anticipated and sought-after boxes of the year. We have been working tirelessly for many months to bring these items together for this specific collection and cannot wait for our subscribers to experience these energies during Sawe. The magical items in this box are as follows. First, we have the Witch's Moon exclusive handmade Samhain Raven Talisman. Okay, so I am assuming we're talking about this, which again, it just looks freaking amazing. And let's read about this. It says, Samhain is a time of year that has been associated with superstitions and folklore for centuries. There is no other night in the neo-pagan calendar that is so richly associated with the spirit world. We refer to Samhain as the night when the veil between our world and the spirit realms is thin. Samhain is a wonderful time of year to work on communicating with ancestors that have passed or with guides that are associated with your path. In addition, divination can be a very useful tool during this time including but not limited to scrying oracle and tarot reading stone casting etc we kindly recommend taking this time to make offerings ask questions request guidance and honor the spirits that so deeply connect to your journey to assist in bringing you messages during this time we have included our handmade Samhain raven talisman the raven has been associated with magic mystery and death for centuries ravens are intelligent birds and their dark plumage and eerie calls have long made them the subject of superstition and folklore ravens are said to be able to shape shift and they are often associated with the other world in celtic mythology in Norse mythology, Odin's familiars were two ravens named, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, <laughs> Hugin and Munin, or Hugin and Munin, <laughs> who represented thought and memory. Ravens are also connected to the undead in many cultures. In some Native American traditions, ravens are said to be the souls of the dead, while in others, they are seen as guides to the spirit world. The raven's black feathers can be used in magic and ritual to invoke communication with the dead or to promote shape-shifting and mysticism. Raven feathers are also said to offer protection from evil spirits. You will find a small attachment on the back of this talisman that will allow you to hang this raven near or above your Samhain ancestral, ancestral <laughs> altar. As you perform your personal rituals during this time, visualize the spirit of the raven opening the pathway for communication. Even when Samhain has passed, this raven is a wonderful talisman to keep hung in a dedicated, honoring area of your sacred space. Wow, that is so interesting. And yeah, I do see a little loop in the back to hang this super super cool and the next item is the raven book of shadows artwork next we have the triple moon cauldron cone incense burner which we have right here sadly mine was broken but i am gonna i'm gonna glue it <laughs> so that is actually pretty cool it says to use a backflow incense cone First, light the top of the cone for five to seven seconds until the smoke starts to appear near the bottom hole. Next, place the cone on top of the, bis the incense burner so that the holes are aligned. Finally, wait 10 to 20 seconds to begin to see the smoke pouring through the bottom of your cauldron. That's pretty cool. Next, we have the Of Earth and Ash Backflow Cone incense with mad okay so this is what that was it says as you allow the smoke from this ritual incense to waft through your sacred space allow its calming and grounding energies to surround you 
burn this ritual incense on your backflow incense holder during Samhain rituals and practices. The mat that has been included is intended to be placed underneath the incense burner. That is really cool. Next we have the All Hallow Tide Festivals of the Dead book of shadows artwork. Next we have the hand rolled spirit guidance spell candle. We have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of providing you with the time and energy to call upon your ancestors and spirit guides during Samhain. As you work to ask questions, seek guidance, receive messages, and practice divinatory rituals, allow this candle to enhance your intentions and magical purpose for doing so. Before you begin, be sure to create the energy that surrounds you and your altar. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone. The hand rolled spell candle has been anointed with ylang ylang cinnamon and jasmine oils, as well as a blend from our personal cabinet of witchery. So that's really cool. Next, we have the Spiritus Nuntius Spell Book of Shadows artwork. Next, we have the Raven Magical Anointing Oil, which we have right here. It says we have created the Raven Magical Anointing Oil with the intention of enhancing your ability to receive messages and guidance from your ancestors and spirit guides. Allow this oil to assist you during times of divinatory practices and Samhain rituals. The energies within this oil can provide you with a deeper understanding of the symbols and messages that you may receive during this time. It can be beneficial to document your experiences and inclinations so that you can revisit them at a later time or after a full moon cycle. As you anoint your skin or magical tools, verbally express your specific intentions for doing so. This practice will prove to enhance the opportunity for real manifestation to occur. We have enhanced this magical oil with ylang ylang peppermint and spearmint oils and have included mugwort, um, echinacea, <laughs> and spearmint herbs as well. Inside your oil, you will find a quartz crystal set to personify oneness within your aura. So I knew it smelled very minty. Uh, we have also included a special mixture of our Samhain magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. The next item we have is Meadow Sweet, which is an herb that has a long history of being used for its medicinal properties. It has also been used in magic and folklore for centuries. Meadow Sweet was also a sacred plant to the Druids. They believed that it had the power to grant second sight and to allow communication with the fairies. In Welsh legend, it was said that women were created from blossoms of oak, broom plant, and meadow sweet. Today, meadow sweet is still used in love spells and to create peace and harmony in marriages. In addition, and specific to this collection, meadow sweet is used to repel negative energies during ritual or divination. Next, we have the organic marshmallow root. Marshmallow has a long history of being used for both its magical and medicinal properties. The roots are often used to make protective oils and continues to be used for beauty preparations. It is also said to be a favorite of benevolent spirits and keeping a jar of it in your altar is said to help call spirits to your aid. Marshmallow is also considered to be a water herb and is often associated with deities of love and beauty. It is said to be helpful in fertility and attraction spells and can also be used to cleanse your sacred space. Next, we have the Magician Ritual Herb Tea with Muslin Bag. So it's the tea right here and I am assuming this is the bag, the bag that we're talking about. Next, we have the Veil Key Ritual Sacred Salt. Next, we have Ulexite. Oh, so I guess this wasn't selenite. It says it's Ulexite. TV stone. That's interesting. It is important to know that this stone is fragile and breaks apart very easily. 
We recommend placing this stone within a small dish or in an area where it will not be moved. Ulex Side is known for its incredible ability to magnify the energy of other crystals and stones, making it a great tool for amplifying the effects of spells and rituals. Work with Ulex Side to enhance psychic abilities and to empower your divinatory practices. Okay, I didn't really realize that <laughs> the lighting had changed all of a sudden, but um, I could have sworn this was selenite. I guess it's Ulexite, it's like U-L-E-X-I-T-E. All right, so that's a new crystal. <laughs> Next, we have the personalized oracle reading. Oh, so I guess this was my oracle reading. This is part of the Making Magic Oracle deck by Priestess Moon. Oh, okay. So then mine is self-confidence, strong self-belief, and a sense of worth. All right. Next, we have the Book of Shadows, a blank parchment page which we just saw earlier wow that was a really cool box so let's go over favorites and least favorites wow where do i even begin this box was so cool as far as my favorite item i definitely love the raven talisman definitely a favorite it looks super cool i also really like the cauldron it's just a shame that mine was broken but again I'm just gonna glue mine, so I really like that. I am really happy that we have some marshmallow in here as well. As far as the least favorite item, I would probably have to say the tea and the salt, only because I'm not really a tea person or a bath salt person or ritual salt person, but uh, maybe if I do get into the habit of uh, drinking tea or maybe using some ritual salts or maybe taking baths, because I don't typically take baths like that, right? So maybe if I do get into the habit of that, then this will become favorites, but that's the only reason why I selected the tea and the salt as least favorite but i mean honestly the whole box was amazing let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this box which item was your favorite and least favorite as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep winking out with me bye